everyone, how's it going? Welcome to an episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be catching our front end up with our back end. So if you haven't been uh, up to date with our Rails API series, we have been making quite a lot of progress in that area. Uh, and so we've updated our API. We started rendering our API using JBuilder and all that kind of fancy stuff. Um, so now uh, what's happened is our um, React-based front end is a little bit behind. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is I'm going to uh, clean up some of the structure we have and fix some of the code to get everything back up and running again. Uh, so uh, if I uh, load up this app, it's broken because we changed the data structure from our API. So we're going to first we're going to fix that. Then we're going to fix a few other configuration issues uh, in Webpack to you know optimize everything and prepare uh, for what's coming. So we're going to build this into a full-fledged app, which means we need to restructure things slightly. Uh, so we're going to start off with uh, doing uh, you know all of that stuff. So uh, first, let's uh, fix the actual front end and get some stuff uh, back up and running. So I have uh, in my terminal here, you'll see I have the front end started on the right hand side and the server started on the left hand side. If I head over into the browser here, you'll see um, that everything is uh, broken. It's not rendering any contacts that we have. Uh, and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, you know, fixing that first. So what we need to do is take a look at the code base in our API series. So I'm going to head over into the API. And you see that we're actually using uh, JSON data dot data here. So our data structure slightly changed. Before, we just outputting an array of contacts. Now it's wrapped uh, in uh, the data array. So if you don't understand the structure, check out our Rails API series. It'll explain all that stuff. So now what that means is we need to change our front end uh, to work with that. So here is this is all we have to do. So we're going to do const JSON equals uh, await uh, response dot JSON, uh, just like that. And then basically here uh, we just need to do JSON dot data. So basically we are wrapped all the contacts under the data key in the JSON object. And so we're just accessing that, that data. So now if I head over into our front end and do a reload, as you can see, the hot module reloading took care of that for us already. I didn't have to click reload. Uh, we'll see that everything is now back up and running. So we can see our contacts, we can remove our contacts, everything is working. So uh, what we need to do next is uh, we need to restructure our components uh, directories just a little bit uh, for it to support. Uh, we're going to create a sign in page uh, because that's what we need to do. So we take a look at our routes over here. You see that it's pretty simplistic. Um, it's not got that much going on. Uh, so it's it basically you know it just got one route. So originally, if you guys are looking at your code base, if you're caught up, you have something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this same C layout uh, across our application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this component up here so that uh, it uses C layout as the main layout and it fills it with that content. So if you take a look at the layout over here, it's going to use this like you know fill this up with the actual content for the different components of the different pages that we have. Um, so what we need to do as well is we need to create a new folder here. So I'm going to create a new folder uh, called contacts. And in here, I'm going to move all of our components related to the contacts rendering. So now we're going to start dealing with other kinds of resources like sessions, users, you know, all kinds of other stuff. So we're going to have separate folders for all of that. So I'm going to move the collections into here. So all the directories, all the files are going to go into here relating to contacts. We can delete uh, the, um, the the data file because we're not using uh, you know static data anymore. We're getting data from API. I'm going to move the index into the contacts as well, and the layout I'm going to leave out. I'm going to move the show in the contacts, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the layout from here. And this file is just going to be responsible for the contacts components. I'm going to create a new file here called index.js, and that is going to be the index of the, all of the components. So here is where I'm going to include the layout uh, and the contacts. So basically here I'm going to do import layout from layout. And then here I'm going to do import contacts from contacts. And in here, I'm going to export default layout contacts. And so what's going to happen now, if we take a look at the index contacts, we have two. We have collection and show. 
So in here, when we do contacts.collection, we're going to get the collection component. And we get contacts.show, we're going to get the show component. So now it's namespaced. Cool. So that uh, gets us gets us quite, quite a bit there. Uh, so what we're going to be doing next, I'm going to create a new folder here called sessions. So here is where I'm going to be creating all of our session related stuff like signing in, signing out, all that stuff. So I'm going to create a new file here, index.js, uh, and another file here called new.js. Sorry, new. And then uh, I'm going to do a uh, I'm just going to leave it empty for now. And so what we're going to do here is later we're going to do the import. Once we fill out that file, we're going to do an import sessions here and then put the sessions in here so we can use it in our routes. So I'm going to head over into the routes over here. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to create a, a basic contest import uh, react from react and then do a class new extends react.component and then do a render just like that and do just a quick return uh, like that and then we're going to do a form form and so basically if everything is working correctly we should be able to see the form in our inspect element so I'm just going to do a uh, just write some text here uh, you know sign in page and we're going to fill this out in a different episode. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, we have a return. Uh, let me just fix that real quick. Return goes like this. Right. So now we're going to do the export. Export default new. And in the index file, now we're going to import new from new. Uh, export default new. Okay. So, you know, I'm moving a lot of files, I'm creating a lot of files, I'm, you know, doing a lot of restructuring and all that kind of stuff. And that's because I want to prepare our application uh, code base to be more scalable, which means we can add more pages, we can, you know, now we can add as many pages as we want, we can have sub components, uh, all that kind of stuff. And we're, we just cannot do that if we don't have all of this here, if we don't have all this set up right. So now we have the new component. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and render this out. So I'm going to go into the routes file. Uh, and then basically now we've got the layouts up here like this. So what we can do is we can go to something like route, uh, path. And in here I'm going to do users, route, close that out. So under the user uh, you know, namespace here, what I'm going to do is implement two routes. So route, uh, path, sign in. And then I'm going to do component. Here and then what we want to do is c dot sessions dot new. So that's basically how we're gonna do uh, you know switch between pages using our routes. Now what that also means is we need to correct all of this. So we need to do contacts because it's all namespaced now, uh, and then contacts dot show. So now, uh, you know, we've namespaced our components. Now we have subcomponents. So basically, we have the sessions, uh, which is responsible for you know everything that's regarding to signing in, signing out, registration, and all that stuff. Uh, and then we have the contacts, which is related to um, you know managing the the contacts resources. Um, so yeah, that you know that that keeps it pretty clean uh, and scalable for us in terms of the code base. So now uh, if I head over into the browser, uh, if I go to the contacts page, everything should be working. It says cannot read property new of undefined. So let's take a look at why. Uh, if I head over into the index.js, we haven't imported the session. So I'm going to do import sessions from sessions. And now I'm going to do sessions like that. And if I head over and you can see everything is working again. So now if I go to users, sign in, I should see uh, something. But if you take a look at the console over here, I'm getting an error here. It's like saying 404 JavaScript not found. And so what we really need to do is uh, we need to fix our index or HTML uh, over here. So we need to use uh, absolute, uh, you know, relative, so we need to add a slash in there. Uh, and basically, this is going to make sure that it's always using the root version of app.js. And I'm going to remove uh, link href uh, app.css for now because we're not using the CSS file, we're using 
uh, you know, it's it's pre-bundled into the Webpack to JavaScript. The CSS is actually bundled into the JavaScript for now, for development purposes. And I'll talk a little bit about that later on. So I'm going to head back over here, do a reload real quick, and you can see sign-in page is now working. So we have page switching in our React router now. Um, so yeah, everything is now working correctly. We've fixed all the code. So I'm going to go back to contacts and go back to here, and you can see everything is working again. Um, so, you know, now we are prepared for world domination. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, you know, we can we actually like really take this source code and, you know, move it along now and like create more pages and have subcomponents, all that kind of stuff using the structure we have here. Uh, without, you know, having this right setup, it will make things very difficult to understand. I understand I just covered a lot of stuff in this episode. I need to quick keep it short. Uh, what we're going to be doing is in the next couple of episodes, we're going to be implementing this app a little bit further. If you found this useful, like it, uh, share it uh, with your friends and family. Uh, also become a member on our site. Uh, you know, the future episodes of this series and the Rails API series are not going to be free. Not all of them are going to be free. Some of them are going to be uh, member exclusive content. Uh, and that's only so that we can support this whole operation and keep our great content uh, going and keep pushing content out to you guys. Uh, with that, I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.